Double clone. Ooh, there's a bunch of super or giant bombs that there were. <laughs> no! Welcome back, ladies and gamers, to the next OP matchup today in the ACL tournament. We got early attacks versus friendship BD. Let's see if this will be a juicy match today. I hope it will be. We got a lot of super barbarians here from friendship to kick things off. All right, all right, all right. Early battle blimp. Freeze on the sweeper. On the rage tower. Get that battle blimp in there. Ooh, hello, tornado trap. Freeze on the monolith. That blimp is still in trouble. Yikes. Oh, dude, he missed the clone. <laughs> oh, this poor clasher. Rip. That sweeper just completely screwed him up. Oh, no. So many swag spells. Trying to figure out what to do next. Grand Warden with the King, with the E Titan, with the Queen on the right side of the base. Here we go. We got to get all the way to the town hall. This could be rough. Does the queen even path correctly? She's walking up and to the right. King's inside. Alright, alright. Couple of archers out of the clan castle. Sure. More super barbs all along the top side of the base. King's pathing well, but the queen dips out. She's not going to go anywhere near the town hall. Could be a big problem. Pop king ability. Pop Warden, Pop Warden. Yes, sir. Warden ability pop, Queen ability pop. Can the King get the Town Hall? Ooh. We invis. Okay, okay, okay. Invis again. King, get that Town Hall, sir. Queen still getting a couple more buildings. Another invis for the King, for the Ice Golem. Can he get it? Oh, he's so low. No, not more distractions. Come on, King. Get that Town Hall. He's not going to get it. More Super Barbs on the left. Oh, jeez. This is an awful way to start the match. Builder huts are going to repair. You can send the champion right to it? Or did she go to the bomb tower? Freeze. Pop her ability. She's going right to it now. But I don't think he can get it. Oh, my gosh. It's so close. Ugh. That's a heartbreaker. Not a good way to start the match. Yada is in with the first attack for early attacks here today. He's got some Twin Hog action, but he also brought a Lava Hound for a Blizz. That Lava Hound got disintegrated by Trap. Rage Tower goes off early. The Battle Blip makes it far enough. It's not a Blizz. It is a Super Minion Bump. We get the Inferno Tower right away. Start working on the Town Hall. Maybe get some of these Expos as well. Cool. King on the left side of the base. Sure. No more invis spells. Hopefully we can clear up all those buildings though for the funnel. They take out the Barbarian King. They get the Rage Tower. They pretty much get everything for the funnel. I like it. Queen on the left side of the base. They also pick up the Archer Tower. Yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. King pops ability. He'll go in for the champion. <coughs> sure. Queen steps inside that left wall gap perfectly. You'll be able to get the Inferno Tower. I like it. And here we go with mass piggies from the north side of the base. Pop that warden ability immediately. Rage tower on defense. Lava hound and a super minion come out of the clan castle. Queen's still alive. King's still alive. Is royal champion with the hoggies? Yes, she is. We used an early rage spell. And we don't have any healing. There's still a lot of base to get through. Queen is beating on a wonky wall. He's got one poison spell. The skeleton spell that he deploys right next to the monolith. Okay. Couple balloons on the right side to pick off an archer tower. Uh, I like everything except for the fact that RC got stuck on the hound. Slowing her down. She's not over here helping with the rest of the units. The hog riders are thinning out like crazy. Finally, we get through all the pups. Road champion with Diggy making her way through the right side of the base. Poison lizard takes out the enemy queen. We actually got through the monolith. Queen finally got through her wall. She's going to come help out now. Royal Champion still has ability. It's looking great for Yada. Early attacks. Gonna be able to get it done here with their first hit. And early attacks take an early lead. Rakib is in with 33 Super Barbarians and Friendship. Desperately need a three star. Even have a chance to start the comeback. We got two clone spells. One E-Titan. All right. 
Super Barbarian on the right side of the base. Cool. Lots of balloons from the left. Battle Blimp without the Grand Warden. Just land right over that gold storage. Yes, sir. A lot of wall breakers in there. Let them all bust open. Next invis. Double clone setup for Ragey Boy. Invis. Perfectly timed. Next invis. Let's see how much more we can get. Get the monolith and the inferno. That'd be great. There goes the inferno. Get that monolith for sure. One more invis for good luck. Just trying to get that rage tower on the top side too. Actually so close. He gets it. Nice. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. We won't have to worry about that rage tower later. Two super minions still alive on defense. No big deal. We'll be able to take those out as we make our way toward the eagle artillery. Here we go. King, Queen, Grand Warden, E Titan all working together. Super Barbarian should force us into the Eagle Artillery compartment. Then we might be dropping Royal Champion from the 6 o'clock side of the base, if I had to guess. He's just going with Super Barb so far. Rage Tower going off. Yep, there is the Champion with the Apprentice Warden. Now I'd say King ability and then Warden. Yes, perfectly done. So the king and the barbarian stay alive for an extra nine seconds. That's usually the best value in this sort of situation. A few more super barbs on the right. He's using most of them early. Got a bunch in on the top side with the headhunters for the king as well. That works out. Down goes the barbarian king. Okay. Last group of super barbs all deployed from the right side of the base. Now we're just waiting. All he can do is pop... Queen ability, pop road champion ability, but I think he's got it. I think he's got it. A couple of uh, skeleton traps there that we got to get through. No big deal. Road champion pops her ability, gets through most of the defense. We still got a bunch of super barbs alive, even though they lost their abilities. No big deal. Road champion gets through the Tesla. We're going for the Inferno Tower. Queen has ability. It is a three star for Friendship BD. And they're back in this match. If they can start getting some defenses, we'll see. Hades is in with a lot of Electro Dragons. Okay. Cool, cool. Flame Flinger on the right side. Cool. One E Drag on the top. Get the Wizard Tower. Bounce some of these Teslas. Sure. Sure, sure. Inferno Baby Dragon. But oh, we got two Inferno Babies. Cool. Nice to see those in the mix. And then here we go with all the E-Drags from the left side of the base with Archer Queen at 9 o'clock. Sweet. Early Warden ability. Rage the upper group. No Rage on the left group, though. There's the Rage on the left group. As they make their way in for the Inferno Tower, we're going to start freezing the Town Hall with the single target Inferno Tower. Poison Spell is in for some of these CC troops. King to join forces with the Archer Queen. Another Rage going in and a Freeze again on the Town Hall and one on the Monolith. One more freeze on the town hall. Got to make sure it goes down, but this E-Drag's not raged up. So we're going to have to invest all our freezes there. Uh-oh, he still might not get it. The other two E-Drags are stuck on the Barb King on the top side of the base. Best air defense in the game, by the way. Super minions out of the Flame Flinger on the right side. King gets bamboozled. Has to pop his ability on the lower side. Royal Champions deployed to help out. This one E-Drag. Can you get the town hall? Yes, just before dying. E-Drag picks up the town hall. That is huge. Huge. Warden goes down. Phoenix brings him back to life for 8 seconds. Royal Champion still moving through with ability. Queen has ability. Super Minions trying to take out the enemy Archer Queen. They almost do. But we're looking good. Hades with the E-Drag plan. Going to be able to melt through this base. No more spell support, but he doesn't need any more spells. He doesn't even need his hero ability. He's going to pop him anyways just to get through it a little bit quicker. But another 3 star for early attacks. GG. Rakib is in for friendship BD. Can they get two triples in a row? More super barbarians coming in on this one. Let's see. Early battle blimp from the right side of the base. Sure. Invisibility. Lots of wall breakers, super archers. Invisibility. Clony boys. Rages. All right. Get the Town Hall, get the Rage Tower. Can we get both Inferno Towers? That would be cool. One more Invis. Do we use it? Uh, can they get the Monolith? Oh, that's a bonus. Okay. We'll take it. They didn't get the middle multi. Maybe he was expecting that. I don't know. But they got the Monolith. Maybe he was expecting this Expo too? I can't tell. 
but he did not get it. Oh well. Gotta go with what we have. Ice Golem freezes early. E Titan gets locked onto by the Eagle. It's awkward. But we're okay. Already got through most of the CC troops. So we gonna go inside the walls here. Or is she gonna just stay on the outside? She's gonna stay on the outside. World Champion should go in for the Expo and the Scatter Shot. I think. Yeah. Do we dare use a Ward ability for the Champion? He kinda could. Got three more Wall Breakers. No, he's just gonna let the Champion di die. She at least clears the middle bolty, that's nice. Being patient with this Warden ability, with this King ability. He needs to pop the King and then the Warden right now. King dips out. Warden? Yes, it's a good Warden ability. He goes back in. Okay, Rage Tower expires. He's got a chance. No RC left, but he's got a couple Super Barbs still to deploy. Queen's extremely healthy with ability. Super Barb's Headhunter's on the top side, getting the Barbarian King out of the way. Another Headhunter down here gets the Royal Champion out of the way. Hold on. I think he gets it. Super Archer Blimp, Super Barbarian, still the meta, guys. Wait, did I jinx him? She's gonna have to... Okay, King got through the wall, so Queen can walk around. Expo's locked onto her, but she has ability. Super Barb's take out the Archer Tower. He's got it. He's got it. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. Friendship BD hit two triples in a row. And even with the one star at the beginning, they're still in it. Chihawa is in for early attacks, and they're on a roll so far today. Can he keep it alive? They're two for two. Let's see if they can go three for three early. CC pool on the bottom side of the base here. Queen's okay, though. It's going to be a queen charge hybrid attack. With the flame flinger on the north side of the base. Sure. Get through the lava pups. Cool. Very cool. Interesting Queen Charge hybrid. It is risky. Because he has no way to get the Town Hall other than the actual hybrid. Queen's meant to go in and around for the Eagle Artillery and then just hybrid through the core of the base and hope that the pathing is perfect that they get the Town Hall. It's a risky plan, especially when you got a one-star defense already. There's a rage on the queen. Healers will get raged up. Queen will be okay for now. Except when these defenses and even the queen do double damage, he might need a freeze. He's going to start the hybrid from the right side of the base. Does he freeze? The freeze was late. Queen dies through ability. This is what I was talking about. This might get really risky now. As queen's not picking up these other buildings, the pathing could get messed up. There's a chance he doesn't path to the town hall. But he's got King on the top side to go get the Town Hall, so maybe that's all right. Healer switching over to the Hybrid could also be Clutch. Is this going to be like old school Town Hall 13 when the Healer switched to the Hybrid? It's just GG. There goes King Ability. There goes a Rage Spell. Warden Ability popped. King going for the Town Hall. Tornado Trap spinning. Hybrid Troops are still alive. Healer's keeping the Champion at full health. Rage Tower on the left side of the base. Two stars secured. Can he get the three? Champion going for this last Inferno Tower. We still haven't gotten the Eagle, bro. There's a freeze on the back end. Scattershot, RC, getting bamboozled. We have a healing spell. I don't know why he didn't use it. Bro, use your healing spell on something, at least. Decides to use it on the Grand Warden and the Super Minions. I like it. We got healers on a Super Barbarian on the lower side of the base. King goes down to the left. It should fizzle out here. Right? Yeah. But he actually still got really good percent. And I think it's mostly because of the healer swap. Keeping the, the miners and hogs and the champion alive for so long. Wow, this got so close. But finally, the last super minion goes down. The ward goes down. And it's an 86% defense. Friendship BT with another attack. More super barbarians. Who would have guessed? Who would have thought? Can they make it work again? We'll find out. Archer from the right side of the base. Sure, sure, sure. Lava Dog. Battle Blimp. Going for the Town Hall Chamber. Yes, sir. Invisibility spell. Wall Breakers doing their thing. 
invisibility spell. Clone, clone, rage, invisibility spell. Cool. Already got some decent value. What more stuff can we get? get the CC building? That would actually be clutch. Yes, CC building down. Get the rage tower. Yes, even though he whiffed that invis. Still got the rage tower. Oh, the CC troops were already out and over here. Oh, rip. Oh, well. I think he got decent value there. Decent. There's the E-Titan deployed first. Sure. Although she might get bamboozled by a lot of these troops. There's the king, the queen. Okay, okay, okay. Two ice golems dropped in the same spot. Sure. Here we go with the heroes around the lower side of the base. Gotta get the queen in there to snipe the scatter shot. Gotta keep the king alive as long as possible. More super barbs from the lower side of the base. Wall break to get access to the multi. I like that. Queen not going inside for the scatter shot for these Teslas. He's gonna try to send a baby dragon. Probably just needed to use the champion there. Maybe not. He's using the champion on the bottom side. That baby dragon actually got everything it needed to. Wow. Pop the ward ability. So the queen ability still intact. I like that. Tornado trap spinning us around. Where's the king? Is he already dead? Nope, he's alive. World champion might get out in front. More super barbs, headhunters for the right side. Take out the enemy champion. He didn't save any headhunters for the BK on the back side. I wish he would have saved at least one. That could be a little bit of a problem. A few more super barbs. World champion gets out in front. She's getting hit hard by the double damage expo. Ooh, we pop her ability there. Champion goes down. This is fizzling out. I thought he was looking decent for a while. There go the super barbs on the top side, but without a headhunter, there's no way he's getting through that BK. Ugh, this is actually so close, but he's going to fall short. They needed this three star. Rip. Queen's actually going to get everything in the middle. She gets the multi. She gets the builder hut. I think... No, she can't reach the Tesla. She picks a goofy wall. Rip the homie. So close, but yet so far. Phoenix might get that extra collector for 95. Does Queen get through the wall in time for the Tesla? Uh, barely no. 95%. Nice try, man. Kuma is in. With a little super barbarian action of his own. Okay. Battle blip. Invisibility. Super arches. Double clone. Invis rage. Sure. Even with the monolith and eagle invisible, they're still hitting them. That's beautiful. Get the eagle. Get the monolith. Get these expos. Can we get the rage tower as well? Give me that rage tower. Pull the CC troops out. Kill the CC troops. Get the rocket balloon. Super minions. Doing a lot of damage. Oh well. I think that's all the value he pretty much wanted. What next? Queen. Grand Warden. Wall Breaker. And here we go. King on the left side of the base. Sure. One headhunter or enemy champion will go down easily. We got an E-Titan in the mix. <coughs> How are we going to drop these wall breakers? Because they might just try to target the multi compartment. He's going to go over there. Okay, interesting. Walk around. Skip the middle multi. They'll probably send champion to the middle section later. If I had to guess. Couple super barbs, headhunter to take out the barbarian king, rage tower, making things interesting here. We pop king ability, then we pop ward ability, classic stuff there. But the timing could be a little wonky because the ward ability is going to wear off by the time we're getting into the giga bomb, giga poison. There's the champion going to the middle section of the base. Queen working on the town hall. Grand warden getting hit pretty hard by the giga inferno. He actually might go down. We have the invis spells. He could have used them to try and keep the queen and warden alive. Instead, he's trying to save the invis spells for the champion, I guess. Ice Golem, Super Barbs on the right side of the base. Going for the enemy queen. They take her out. Invis spells for the Royal Champion. And she's looking healthy as we make her way through the middle section of the base. We still got a few more Super Barbs we can deploy. 
Super wall breakers all over the place. Diggy stuns the scatter shot and is looking good for Kuma. Gonna be able to take this base out. Another three star for early attacks, and they are dominating in this match. This is gonna give them the lead. 11 stars to nine after the fourth round of attack. Swag invisibility spell there. GG. Nice hit right there from Kuma. Let's go, Prince Saeed. The final attack for friendship, they need a four star attack with amazing pursuit to catch up. Who would have guessed? Another battle blimp super barbarian attack. There's the invis. Where are these wall breakers going? Interesting spot. Next invis. Clone. Okay, okay, okay. Invis. None of the archers got cloned on the lower side of the wall. It's a little awkward. They might not pick up the scatter shot because of that. Boom, next invis. They get the expo. Going for the CC building. They get the monolith, but they don't get the scatter shot. Oh, one super archer was on the other side of the wall. What the? Oh, well. That's the value he got. What's next? What's next? Pull all the troops to the right side of the base. Sure. And then drop everything. Here we go. Ice golems, king, queen, warden. Pretty classic stuff. Headhunter in there. A couple super barbs. My cat is meowing like crazy somewhere. King goes inside for the scatter shot. We're actually taking a lot of damage from it because it's doing double damage. There's a good wall break to get us around for the Inferno Tower. He should have been more patient with that next wall break. Kind of wasted it on the Rage Tower compartment. And then that one targets a wonky wall, bro. What the? Queen had to pop ability. Holding on to the Warden ability, being a little, very patient here. Queen might actually go down unless he pops Warden right now. I say it's worth it. Pop Warden. Yes, sir. Pops Warden ability. Queen goes back around to the court. Ah, oh, she's going to die no matter what. <clears throat> Royal Champions in there. Rage Tower going off. Headhunter in the Warden ability. Trying to take out the Queen. Almost does. A lot of Super Barbs being used from the left side of the base. He maybe should have used some of them earlier to take some heat off of his heroes. Rip. All of his heroes are dead. That's a big rip. I think he was too late with some of these super barbs. <clears throat> King goes down. Phoenix goes down. And this one's gonna fall short. Here at 82. Looks like it. Nice try, homie. 82% and an 11-star performance for friendship. Takana is in with some queen charge. Super hog riders to end the match. Okay. Early Yeti bomb. Not meant for the town hall, just the defense is around it. The town hall does wake up. Ooh. Was he meant to take out the town hall? He only got it down to like half health. I don't know. Hopefully not. Queen on the lower side with the poison spell. Take out the CC troops. Minions on the right. All right. Cool. Take out the Archer Tower, the air defense, the buildings on the left. Sure, sure, sure. Balloon. What? Normal wall breaker? What the? How's Queen get a path here? Because she could step left for this builder hut. But she steps right for the storage. Okay. Rage. Champion's doing double damage, but we get through her. You go on the right side of the base. Sure. Healers taking double damage from the multi. You might need a spell. He goes with the invis. Good job there. He gonna need ability on the right side of the base. Next rage is in. Breezy boy. Instead of just the scatter shot, you should have hit the scatter shot and the expo, but oh well. I'm being a hater. She can reach the expo from there, that's cool. King pops ability, goes up and around. Where are these wall breakers going? Oh, that's a lame wall breaker. Champion in on the right. I think he expects Queen to take the town hall, but she'd have to beat through a wall to get it. Could be a little awkward. 
He's just gonna say YOLO and go from the right side of the base. Even if he one stars, they win the match. LOL. Here we go. Piggy's from the right side of the base. Queen getting bamboozled. Hopefully she picks a good wall. She's going away from the town hall, dude. Oh my gosh, this queen is something else. He doesn't even want to- Oh, she switches. Keep her alive. Yes, he drops the rage after he notices she switches to a good wall. Freeze the town hall expo combo wombo. Super hogs moving through the base here. Royal Champion going straight for the town hall as well. That's actually not ideal. Would have been best if Queen just took it out by herself. Skeleton spell on the left side of the base. Town hall will be secured, but everybody's gonna get hit by this Giga Bomb. Ooh, yikes. The Royal Champion didn't actually. She just dodged it barely. Healers going to the Royal Champion. That could be good news, but only 20 seconds on the clock. Go, go, go. Queen getting wrecked by the Monolith right now. Poison Lizard getting in there trying to help out. Barbarian King might slow us down because there's only 12 seconds left. We could be in big trouble here. No spell support. Monolith says hello. And Royal Champion goes bye-bye. And it's a rip. I think it's actually just a time fail. He's got so many wizards and super riders and warden at full health with healers. Rip. 99%. But it's still a victory for early attacks today. 13 stars to 11. 95.2 to 86.4. Oh. oh, that's just the perfect way to start a match. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next OP match where these gamers don't know how to game. Two of them went in at the same time. Let's go. A lot of super barbs on this attack. Early attacks versus revengers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And a lot of super barbs on this attack as well. Jeez. Warden Blimp over here made it all the way to that town hall section from the lower side of the base. Take the town hall, take the expo. Invisibility. Getting some good value here at least. Get the eagle? Yeah, that's good. That's great. Let's see what the value is on this one. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Got the eagle. Uh, are you gonna get that town hall? No. Awkward. That's a little awkward. Let's go back to the other one. Let's go back to the other one. We're in here. Queen ability going off. Queen takes the lower inferno, takes the right inferno, king moving left. Got a champion, no spell support, a lot of super barbs. Mm. Wall break. Another super barb, the royal champion, some headhunters. Sure, sure, sure. Queen gets locked onto double damage multi, queen goes down. This is the one that got the good blimp value. And he might not get through it. In fact, I don't think he does. Oh, his champion's getting wrecked. Spam all these super barbs in, my dude. Diggy stuns the expo. Is there a chance this could still pull through? Diggy's... Oh, rip. That's a defense. That's a defense? Are both of these about to be defenses? I think so. Let me just double check here. Yeah, all these super barbs get wrecked. That's going to be like a 95, 96% defense. Yikes. The other one? He got the town hall. Road champion on the lower side. Does this one have a chance? No. Scattershot Expo should wreck this Royal champion, right? The other Expo is still alive as well. Hold on. He's got Diggy. Phoenix can take that Expo. Hold on. Oh, Skelly Trap. Rip, that's gonna slow down his time. Diggy goes down. Yeah, it's another defense. So both of these defenses... And they might be getting a one-star penalty because they both attacked at the same time. Rip. Communication just not there. So it's gonna fall short. They got a 96 and a 93. Awkward. Chihawa Wawa. In with the first attack for early attacks. See what he can do here. With some Lalo with a Golem. Flame Flicker on the left side of the base. And then a Skelly Donut. Let's go. 
Going for the expo, going for the clan, castle, building. We get both perfectly. Yes. Cool. All right, all right, all right. We get everything. King, queen on the lower side of the base. Baby dragon is in. Sure. Royal Champagne. Headhunter. Golem. Pop that RC ability. Get through the Rage Tower. Get through the Inferno Tower. King with the Phoenix. Should be able to pick up the Scatter Shot. RC picks up the Multi. Then she goes down. She gets wrecked. Is this queen supposed to stay alive all the way to the Town Hall? Rocket Balloons out of the Flame Flinger. Pick up the Monolith. Pull a lot of red bombs. It's actually good for the Lalo later. It means they won't hit any red bombs. Golem needs to get in front of this queen, please. And he does. Much. Already starting the Lalo on the right side of the base. Queen will get the Town Hall with her ability. Haste spell into that first Inferno Tower. Warden with three more groups of balloons. Lava Hound, Headhunters, pop the Warden ability. Going for the enemy Royal Champion. Trigger the Rage Tower. Drop her own Rage spell. Here we go. Get through all these defenses as quickly as possible. He's got three freezes. No more haste. Is it enough? I think it might be. I think it might be. Balloons taking out all these defenses. Get in there for the air, the Eagle Artillery. Last freeze still has yet to be utilized. He might not even need it. I think he can swag it. He's going to drop it anyway on the Wizard Tower on the Expo Combo Wombo. This base is deleted. Chihawa Wawa. Going to be able to absolutely wreck this one and get early attacks. A three star early in this match. Revengers in with the next attack. Bringing us a uh, Queen Charge Twin Hogs with an early Yeti and Flame Flinger combo wombo. Queen at 12 o'clock. Cool, cool, cool. There's another Barb Archer. Flame Flinger should get the mortar. It might get hit once. Not the end of the world. I think he just lost a healer to a seeking air mine. Rage Bell Headhunter get through the Barbarian King. Balloon pulls a seeking air mine. Cool. Queen gets these cannons. Rage Tower is going to make things really spicy. So we drop the Invis spell. And then the next Rage. <coughs> Flame Flinger will pick up the multi on the right side of the base. Might be able to damage the Queen a lot with a fired splash as well. Perhaps. King on the left side. This Queen still getting bamboozled. Might have to pop her ability. He just goes with another Rage. Flinger's going to die to the enemy queen. What's in there? Super minions. They'll take out the enemy archer queen. Queen gets the town hall. Then she'll get both expos. Here comes CC troops out to the barbarian king. Might not be the full pull. I don't think it is. Three headhunters and like 10 archers. Yeah, there's two super minions. Another rage for the queen. Jeez. Just using every spell to get her through the giga poison. Lost another two healers. I think he only has two healers left. Queen pops ability. You gonna drop the super piggies? My guy? Here we go for the bottom side of the base. Interesting spot. Super hogs are in with the Royal Champion with the Grand Warden. When do we pop the Warden ability? Not a single healing spell to utilize here. Sends two headhunters, or sends a headhunter, pops the Warden ability. Hello, Tornado Trap. Drop the skeleton spell. Somewhere. Yeah, he's got it in between the expos. Double freeze. Interesting. There's still super minions on defense. That's awkward. That's really awkward. Ooh, this Tesla's gonna stay up. RC popping ability. We should get through the core here. I don't know if we're gonna make it through the left side of the base, though. Ooh, down goes that Tesla. We'll get through this Expo. This enemy Royal Champ is low on health. Can we slap her? No. Awkward. If Poison Lizard could take her out quickly. Come on. Yes. All right. We have a chance. We got Diggy. 25 seconds. This Archer Tower is going to kill the champion. Oh, awkward. <clears throat> the Warden can two-shot most of these buildings. Hold on. Is Diggy dead? Diggy's alive. Diggy still has the cannon. Oh, 12, 11. We got a wizard to help. Yes. 98. Come on. Wizard gets that building. Warden. One more shot. He gets it. 
Bro, it's a three star for Revengers. Ayo. Queen Charge. Oh, gratis. Here from Hades. Let's see what he can do. See what he can do. Can early attacks keep their triple train rolling? Queen on the top side of the base. Gonna go straight in toward the monolith. All right. Cool, cool. Got a skeleton spill. We take a lot of damage. There's a rage. Uh. Oh. Balloons? Do they take it out? Yeah. Cool. Invis spell? Sure. How does she path down? Ooh, perfect. I think that's exactly what he wanted. So take the expo, then the town hall. King on the left side of the base. Flame Flinger's been working on the lower side of the base. Sure, sure, sure. Rage spell for the queen. Question mark. Yes, sir. Headhunter is in. King takes the enemy queen. Looking good. Here comes CC troops. Tornado trap spinning. Ooh. Is queen okay? Ooh, maybe. We're going to pop her ability anyways. King on the left side. He might not actually get the scatter shot. It's a little awkward. Another rage for the queen. Here we go. Hog Riders, Grand Warden, or Royal Champagne on the left side of the base. Well, let's do it. Flame Flinger gets that lower multi. We takes care of that Rage Tower. Working on these sweepers now. When do we pop Warren ability? We're still being super patient. Pops it there. Sure. Some of the Hog Riders moving to the core. Not actually in the Warren ability. Queen working on the right side multi. We're going to rage up the Hog Riders and the Royal Champion. Moving through the Eagle and the Double Damage Expos. Queen to fight the enemy Royal Champion. We might need a spell over there. Go with a Freeze. It's juicy. He hits the Champion and the Scatter Shot. Perfectly placed. Freeze spell. Royal Champion still healthy. We got Valkyries out of the Flame Flinger. It's looking good for Mr. Hades. Super Barbs. Sneaky goblins all along the right side of the base. Skeleton spell and freeze trolling on the outside of the base because it is crushed. Beautiful attack from Mr. Hades with the queen charge. Normal hog riders. Simple plan, but very effective. Absolutely smashes the heck out of this base. Revengers in with a lot of normal dragons and dragon riders. Some uh, Hydra here, if you will. Battle blimp. Can you get any headhunters in that warn ability? No, that's kind of sad. Awkward. Freeze on the sweeper. Is it super archers? I think so. Whoa, there's a giant bomb. He might be okay. Invis. Gets the middle multi. Another invis. It's the right side multi. Needs the town hall. Needs the scatter shot. Come on. Gets the queen. We're out of invises. Gets the scatter shot. But the expos stay up. The town hall stays up. It's a little awkward. A little awkward. Baby dragon, archer queen. And dragons without a warden from the lower side of the base. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Okay. That baby dragon's good enough to get the expo, but he sent a dragon rider as well, just to be extra safe. Queen goes to ability early. The king's not even distracting defenses. Neither are the ice golem for the queen. Road champion in, but he... Oh, gosh. This is going to one star, isn't it? It's okay, we got the archer. He was gaming. Yada is in and he's back with his famous bowlers. All right. Four Super Bowlers, one E-Titan, one Wall Breaker, one Skeleton Spell. Flame Flinger on the left side of the base. Warden Walk on the lower side of the base. Wall Breaker doing some wall breaking. Cool, cool, cool. 
cannon. Get the siege workshop. Sweet. Get through the wizard tower. Should be able to. Poison lizard taking out the champion. Cool, cool. Baby dragon. Doing some dragon things. All right, all right, all right. Jumping spell to placed, and I think we're ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Scattershot locked on the warden, so we need to get through it pretty quickly. Here come CC troops. Free spell? Sure. Is that free spell needed at all over there? King on the right side. Here we go. We're bowling, we're bouncing in. Rage spell, a warden ability, flame flinger still flinging in. Nobody going for this air defense? Okay, we'll send the champion early. Sure. Sure. Queen takes the jump. She should go toward the town hall while the bowlers actually stay away from the town hall. We're just going to pop queen ability there. Okay. I think we sh should probably pop king ability already because everybody else is going to get it way out in front of him. We invis the bowlers. Get the healers to heal them back up. Freeze the enemy queen. Skeleton spell to distract the scatter shot. Queen went down, but she did pre-trigger the Rage Tower that could come in clutch later. Flame Flinger still getting value there on the left side of the base. Bowlers go all the way back around, make their way toward the Town Hall section, and the Giga Poison is expired, so they can actually get some good value over here. I wish that Rage was one tile back to the right so the healers would be raged up right now. We lose one bowler. We've only got one bowler left. Yeti's out of the Flame Flinger, but King and Royal Champion still alive with ability. This is crushed. This is why Yada Bowler is OP. Somebody needs to tell him to just use bowlers on every single attack. This guy is a gamer with them. Look at that. Absolutely smashed it. Another three star for early attacks. And they are three for three. They might be able to win this match with only three attacks. <laughs> Level 99 Murad is in for Revengers. And he needs like a seven star attack to have a chance here. Let's see what he can do with the Super Barbarians. Warden Blimp. Freeze on the sweeper was a little late. Again, these guys let the headhunters die before they pop the warden ability. Okay, he got one headhunter still alive. And it's actually enough. Wow. All right, GG. Double clone. Ooh, there's a bunch of super or giant bombs that there were. <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> Rip! The traps are too good. Oh, he just swagged everything. Oh, gosh. All right, how do we fix it? King, queen on the right side of the base. Oh, no. Queen takes the super minions out. King going for the town hall? Does he actually get it? Oh, my gosh. He's going to get wrecked. Hold on. Oh, Queen went in there too. Clutch. Invis. Queen gets the town hall. Yeah. Got a real champion. He's got some spells. Got some super barbs. Tell me you can still get the two star. Tell me you can still get the two star. Yeah, he should. He should. I think. Invis. Rage. He's got 12 more super barbs. There's 48%. Let's go. Two star in the bag. Oh, these poor guys, man. We're going to finish with 10 stars. After the penalty, they're technically at only at 9 stars. Which means early attacks tie them with only 3 attacks. Kuma with the 4th attack for early attacks. Is there a chance they get a perfect war today? Maybe. Although I definitely just jinxed them. Zap, Quake. Take out an Expo and an Inferno Tower right away. Warden, Lalo, Blim. Okay. It's like Klaus style. We saw Klaus do this a few times. Rage Bill is in. Town Hall secured. Balloons take a lot of defenses. Ice Golems get pulled out. Okay. Do we get that Monolith? Dude, if we get that Monolith as well, I'll be, I'll be impressed. Uh, Yeti mites? No, they get frozen. Dude, the timing. That's so unfortunate. 
Monolith stays up. King on the top side of the base. Hello, Tesla farm. King, E Titan, Queen on the left. Okay, okay, okay. King already has to go to ability. He's super low on health. Oh my gosh, there's so many traps in this compartment. We send a Valkyrie as well. I find the Valkyrie an interesting addition there when you already have the E Titan anyway. But I mean, sure. Queen Golem moving left. Warden on the right, getting hit by the Expo. Couple super barbs on the left, helping to assist the Archer Queen now. Bro, Warden Owl is still cleaning up some of the base. Queen will take the Expo. She'll make her way in for the Inferno Tower. She'll be able to reach the Eagle Artillery. It's looking good news. Free spill is in. Does King with Phoenix actually pick up the Monolith? Oh, almost. Almost, man. Skeleton spell and poison spell. Royal champion from the south side. Here we go. Take out the enemy queen. That's looking great. Royal champion making her way inside. Queen's still getting a few buildings. He's got RC ability. He's got two free spells. Puma about to get it done. And early attacks are going to be four for four. They win this match with just four attacks. And we still get to see them do a fifth one. Super barbs all in from the bottom side of the base. He could have swagged them all. Double freeze, he swags them both. Pops queen ability, pops RC ability, 42 seconds to spare. And another gaming three star from the Clashers. Takana is in with the final attack of the match. We got queen chop. We got twin hogs, oh baby. What in the ice golem charge are we witnessing here? Hello, well. Ice golem dies, healer switch, I mean, okay. I guess. Baby dragon picks up the multi mortar, that's cool. Queen gets the air defense. No, she goes for the expo first, but healers are still safe. Healers are still safe. Coco Loom. Searching for some traps. And finds one. It's good news. And then recall. What the? Queen on the left side. Balloons for an archer tower. Battle blimp. Sure. Rage spill for a Yeti bomb. Take the Expo. Take the Inferno. CC pool. Just two headhunters. Zoom in for the Queen. If we not get the rest of the pool, we won't. Oh. Is she okay? Oh. He goes with a freeze. I don't think he actually needed it. That was a wimp freeze. I think he could have gotten away without it. Drops the last healer. Drops another Coco Loon. Searching for traps. Queen should go in for the scatter shot. And then eventually toward the town hall. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. The plan is planning, but it is taking quite a bit of time as we're still gonna have to fight these CC troops. Two ice golems. We're actually gonna send King for the town hall. That's interesting. We got three wall breakers. We lose one healer to a seeking air mine. Queen just out of range of that monolith. King gonna get the town hall. Wall breaker going for a juicy spot, I hope. Pop that king ability. Wall breakers, nice. Giving Queen access to everything. He needs to go ahead and start the hogs soon. Only 69 seconds left on the clock. Hoggers. Come on. Go, go, go. We're actually going to hog from the right side. Okay, I think he should have gone from the eagle. Oh, well. Warden ability. Yes. Queen getting bamboozled. We pop her ability. More hogs from the right side of the base. We've deployed them all now. Need to get the cleanup wizards in behind. He might be forgetting to deploy some of those. Okay, he's dropping them now. Rage towers on defense. Making all the defenses do double damage. Tesla farm on the right side of the base. Around that arch queen pad. We still got to get through the eagle. We still got to get through the barbarian king. We got two more headhunters to do it. Got the royal champ ability. Got one invis spell. Using the last rage spell on the queen. On the healers. Keep her alive. Five ever. RC ability going to have to be used right now. Just to get through the Tesla farm. Boom, 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 boom. Get through the cannon. 20 seconds on the clock. Headhunters making their way in. Can the queen stay alive? We invis, but the king goes invisible. Headhunter shooting an archer tower. Uh-oh, we got the poison lizard. 13 seconds. He might have just waited too long to start the hogs. Rip. The plan was juicy, but Takana not going to pull off the three-star and early attacks. Not going to get the perfect war. Rip. 93%, but they still get the big W here today. 14 stars to 10. 99 or 98.6% to 84.